Good day. This is Ildar Babotayev from the Skolkovo Institute of Science and Technology, and I'm glad to present our work HyperGuider, Virtual Reality Framework for Interactive Path Planning of Quadruped Robots in Clutchard and Multi-Terrain Environments. Currently, robots are widely used in many different tasks, such as counting, mapping, rescue missions, and delivery. Among all robot types, quadruped platforms have become more popular in the last decade. They are not only cute, they have certain advantages over wheeled robots. For example, they can overcome some obstacles and traverse many different terrains, climb stairs, and so on. But the development of an autonomous four-legged robot is not a trivial task, which includes many areas of research, and the problem of path planning is one of the key problems that must be solved to ensure reliable navigation. The ability to find a reliable path mainly depends on the level of perception of the robot. A high level of perception requires a large number of sensors and devices with sufficiently advanced intelligent algorithms. However, modern systems cannot provide complete reliable data on the properties of the environment, such as strength, instability of objects, etc. As a result, the calculated path can be dangerous for both the robot and the person. Here you can see the examples when the robot pushes dynamic objects that can harm someone or something. In addition, slippery surfaces can also be dangerous. There are several works related to our research topic. For example, two papers are devoted to interactive path planning with mixed reality. In the first paper, the authors proposed a new discrete path planning algorithm and a new mixed reality interface with interaction for safe path generation. However, this work is devoted to wheeled robots, and it cannot be extended to four-legged robots due to their features. Second work uses mixed reality for industrial manipulators programming. Authors developed a system which can set a certain path via sample geometrical shapes and point-to-point -point sequences. The last work is devoted to the path planning algorithm for quadruped robots. Most path planners use hierarchical approach to delegate complexity of the quadruped robots. It only allows you to set the start and target positions, and changing the path is not allowed. So, there is a gap between interactive path planning and quadruped robots. So, here we want to answer the question, how to improve safe path generation for the quadruped robots. Our hypothesis is that symbiosis between human perception and the ability of a robot to find the optimal path can be an effective solution to the navigation problem. Our proposed solution is a novel VR-based framework which allows guiding and teaching of the quadruped robot how to navigate safely and robustly, whereas the immersive interface will reduce mental demands and workload. On this slide you can see the preview of the developed system, where the user can assist in the planning process. In the developed system, the operator uses the HTC Vive headset to achieve an immersive effect. This headset provides information to the rule module. The mapping module is required to create a discrete map for the global path planning algorithm. Four-legged robots can easily move in 3D space, so we used a voxel map representation. One of the main properties of a voxel map is a voxel size. On the right you can see how different sizes affect the resolution of the map. This is important because of the ability to find possible objects such as stairs. And our final experiment environment is shown on the left. The voxel size is 8 cm, which is smaller than the size of the robot body. The path planning module is a core of functionality due to the properties of the quadruped robot. This is quite complicated parts. Quadruped robots is a high dimensional system with 18 degrees of freedom, which you can see on the slide. It means that we need to provide 18 values to describe robot states, in other words, configuration. Thus, we developed the hierarchical planning algorithm to delegate such complexity. The global path planning algorithm is based on A star with modifications. It operates with three discrete linear coordinates to find a desired global path, which will be processed by a local planner. Local planner is a sampled based algorithm with artificial potential fields. This algorithm provides a sequence of robot states to reach the target state. In this case, Planner calculates all 18 configuration variables to describe a quadruped robot in a space. For example, on a slide you can see a sequence of states which were found to overcome an obstacle. 
One of the main features is the calculation of deviation vector, which is used to inform the global planner about invalid global states and make a new request for the global path. The first experiment is to evaluate the developed path planning algorithm. The road to the target state passes through the stairs. The algorithm was run several times. We call each run an iteration. On the top figure, we can see that the most of the weights were learned during the first iteration. They are labeled blue. The table shows that after three iterations, the algorithm found the shortest path, and the computation time was reduced by seven times. Final global path and local paths are shown on the left. The second experiment is to evaluate how the user influences the planning process and compare it with the autonomous approach. It has the same conditions for the scheduling algorithm, but a user with VR headset can interact with the process and create virtual obstacles to assist the algorithm. As a result, we see that the calculation of the first iteration has been reduced by four times. Finding the shortest path requires four iterations, but the total computation time is 34 prestigious less. However, the path length has been increased. The, al the algorithm learned less weights due to the position of the virtual obstacle, which was placed in their cluster. The final path with a virtual obstacle is shown on the right. The last experiment was conducted among several users with different experience in VR to investigate the behavior of the proposed system. We asked 10 participants, each of them had same conditions. After the experiment, they completed a survey based on NASCLX. As a result, users were divided in two groups by path types. Most of them provided a path which is closely related to the autonomous approach. Others chose another way to target states. Path deviations and distance to the goal states are shown on the right. Finally, on the left picture, you will see that mean time to find shortest paths was reduced by 35 percentages, and total number of learned weights was reduced by 9 times, whereas path length was increased by 7 percentages. On the right, you can see NASTLX survey results. Participants did not feel any additional physical effort or frustration. Moreover, the developed interface does not require high mental demand. In conclusion, we achieve a faster planning process which leads to non-critical elongation of the robot path. Moreover, the developed interface does not require additional physical efforts and high mental demand, whereas users were satisfied with their performance. Conducted work has many ways for future investigations, such as new VR interface features, improvements of path planning algorithm, and testing on real robots with dynamic analysis. For further information, you can consult our paper. Thank you for your attention.